guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My name's Dale. You know, drill indexes for me are a love-hate relationship. You know, the boxes like this are fantastic. They keep all your bits in close and tight, but they're always full of sawdust. They don't always work well. They don't open up quite like you would like them to. I'm always fighting it. Another system, which is my personal favorite, are these because from a distance you can see if they have the right drill bits in them. They're easy to take the drill bits out, easy to install the drill bits, but you still have to go through the entire index to find the drill bits you want. So what if there was a quicker way to index your drill bits? And that's what I want to talk about today. We're going to take a block of aluminum here and we're going to basically make this style, but not the same way this is. We're going to take a chart like this and we're going to design it into this block. So if we take it, rotate it, you can see we're going to end up having four rows. We're going to have our eighth, quarter, three eighths, half inch, our sixteenths, our thirty seconds, and our sixty fourths. So now when I need to grab a bit, if I know I need a sixty fourth, I don't have to look through all of these. I just have to go down my line of sixty fourths and of course their numerical order, making it much easier to find. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to set this up, and we're going to do it in a metal tips and tricks style. We're not going to do a bunch of math because I'm only doing a one-off. I'm going to show you a simple, easy way to lay this out and get it done quickly. So let's get started. I already did the layout here. I basically set up a block. This is three and a half by eight inches. Now, I'm not exactly sure what my total length is going to be on this because we are kind of gambling a little bit. But the great thing is I've got plenty of length and I can cut this off. And when you see, as I go through here and set up the drill bits, you'll see what I mean is I'm not sure where they're going to stop here because everything has a little bit of randomness to it, but not that much. I kind of know what I'm doing sometimes. So let's show you what I'm going to do here. And we're going to do the 31 64ths first. Now, like I said, this is all laid out. We're going to punch this first hole. We're drilling an aluminum. We can speed it up quite a bit. I'm going to set this to zero just in case I need to come back here. Now, we're going to progress down this line. I really enjoy this type of chuck. It's hand tightened. I can pull bits in and out really, really quick. And on a job like this, you're going to see you're going to want to. Now, I also want to talk about how I'm going to control the drill depth. I'm going to kind of do a random drill depth on this. But what I want to do is I'm going to set my gauge here at 1, bring my bit up, my table up, tighten my chuck. Now I know how far to go. Now this, this block is inch and three quarters. So I know I don't want to drill past an inch and three quarters. Now I know the top of my bit is at one inch here. And we're going to go down to inch and five eighths for this one. We've got the first hole in place. Now we want to start drilling these. And if you notice, I don't have this indexed. I'm going to show you a metal tips and tricks way to index this that is going to be a lot quicker than me trying to do it mathematically. Now I know I can't have these right next to each other, so I have to have a little bit of room. Well, what I'm going to do is take my drill bit, put it in upside down take a spacer, which can be any width that you would like, and I'm going to take a punch like this. Now these are all set up to the same sizes as the drill bits. So the great thing is I just have to come in here, bump that up against my mark, take a hammer, set it,
Now I'm set up to do the next hole. Bring this down. So there we go, the beginning of this process. Now I'm going to, basically it's a rinse and repeat process. I will drill these out and then I'm going to show you how to do the remaining layout. I think you'll really like it. The holes are now drilled, at least the 64th. The next thing we get to do is do the layout. And the layout now is actually pretty simple. Now, like I said, we're not doing math on this. It's not that I don't like math, but the metal tips and tricks way is about trying to get things done quickly and efficiently. And that's exactly what we're doing here. If I was doing more than one of these, if I was doing five or six, I would actually use the DRO map it all out and do it correctly, but this is a one-off thing and this will be adequate for the layout. Now back to our chart. So we know we have our 64th done. Now we're going to do our 30 seconds, which is the next line. But now all these next lines for the 30 seconds, the 64th, and the 8th, and the 1 4th are all based off of these and centering them up to those, just like you see on this chart, the first 15, 30 seconds is going to go right after the 11 64th. The next one is two holes over, two holes over, etc. So let's just do those really quick. The sixteenths are going to go over to the next line, so we're going to go two holes over, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, etc. Next, we do the halves, three eighths, quarters, and the eighth. Now, the half, I actually screwed up here. I should have started the half here and then move that all over. But live and learn. You guys learn from my mistakes. So remember, a smart person learns from his mistakes. A smarter person learns from somebody else's. It gets confusing trying to match up all these lines. One thing I was looking for was a consistent pattern of these being in the center of each other, but the distances from here to here to here keep changing and I forgot about that. So I had to kind of sit back and process to make sure I didn't make a mistake. But I think I've got it correct. Now let's start drilling the final set of holes. Wow, that is a lot of holes, but it's looking really good. Next, I'm going to speed you guys through the process 
of making it look cool because this is one of those projects that should look cool sitting out in your shop. So let me fast forward you through some ideas and let's see what happens. Here it is, the project is now completed. As you can see, I think it turned out excellent. The little stamping here, metal tips and tricks, I think you guys will appreciate. Also stamped all these up here. Now remember, since these are organized in 64ths, 30 seconds, 16ths, what's great is I don't have to put the whole fractional number. I can just go in here with, I know this is a 1 16th, so it's a 1. Here's 3 sixteenths, it's a 3, 5, 7, etc. Same thing works on 64th. So, very interesting. Also, remember when you're numbering these that all these numbers, that first one is always odd. And I don't mean odd as in strange, I mean it's an odd number because if it was an even number, that means it would be a different fraction. So, it makes it easier stamping these because you can take out, you know, the 4, the 6, the 8 the two because you don't need well you do need the two because you do have 23 64 but besides that you get the concept is make it a little bit simpler for you remember we're talking the metal tips and tricks way how simple can we make it what what can we take out of the process to simplify building stuff and that's one of the tricks I also since I had room on this block I put in some center drills, a set of those. I'm always searching for them. I'm always using drill bits for center drills, which we all know don't work at all. So to have them with the set, I think was just a great idea. Plus, I have the room on the block. So let's take a look at this block. It is eight inches by Oh, about three and a half by about two. And those dimensions really are kind of crude dimensions. It's going to matter what material you have on hand. Now, I was lucky. My friend Mike Pato actually gave me a block of aluminum last night so I could do this video. So, Mike, thank you very much. And I think it came out great. You know, putting these little details in here not just served to make it look cool, but also give it an area to grip and lift it and move it around. Another great bonus. I like the cut up here, this cove cut. It's really just beautiful and simple. Unfortunately, it kind of looks like a miniature casket, doesn't it? So excited about this. Now, remember, it is a heavy block of aluminum, which is excellent compared to this original one here. Very light, flimsy, can tip over easy. This one here, it will never tip over. Well, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Love to hear your comments. And also, remember, go out in your shop, build something cool the metal tips and tricks way. Thanks. Mm -hmm.